the series are short on Shavuot. You know, there's the Minhag and the Har Israel. All over the Har Israel, they read really that root on Shavuot. First of all, by the way, there's no Shulchan Aruch that you have to stay up all night. <laughs> if you want the Heter, Shulchan Aruch is the Heter. You don't have to stay all night on Shavuot. So where does that come from? Why the Har Israel are staying up all Shavuot? I thought, you know, at first I thought, it's the Halacha Shulchan Aruch. Shavu tells us the code of the halacha, the things that we have to do. But we don't find any shulchan aruch, which is the sefer of halacha, the code of halacha, doesn't say that you have to stay up. Therefore, why do we stay up? They say it's a minhag. What does minhag mean? Minhag means the hard soil were inspired by themselves to stay up all night. Now why? Imagine in downtown, they give diamond, all night till morning. Person cannot be in bed. So the question, I don't go to sleep. You cannot be in bed. Such a night thing. Now here to our brother Shulenzo are about this night. What happened this night? You know, back in Matam Torah, all of the sick people got to cure. All of the blind people got vision. Anybody, any request was accepted because all of the gates of the hand were open. This night is unbelievable night. It's full kovach and power. Now, once we understand that, person cannot waste time, cannot be in bed. Bed is painful. I'm staying in bed at the time that all of these things are happening. Or I'm wasting time, wasting a minute of this night to be wasted. <laughs> it's pity, you know. The night we want to duplicate what could be done in this night. Any other time, we have to work thousands of miles. You have to climb a mountain to reach such a height. Now, Hakodesh Baruch Hu, with full Rahmal, gave us. You see that we have stories that we will look at Kodesh on this night. The Yusuf of Sukkaru and other friends that stay up all night. It was the night to be used. Now, the Tahal they have a they have a to read the Megillah route. Now, what is it? Put what that fruit has to do with the Shavuot, the lot of truth. But Yarmut Shimoni brings a very interesting message. Yarmut Shimoni says, in other words, uh, Naomi told them that as Hashem told them that Hashem, he told Hashem, he told them that Hashem should do Chesed to you, just like you did Chesed to the Metim and Madi. Amar Ebezera, he sent to this Midrash. Ebezera said, Hamigila Hazu, this Megila, en balot tum abro tahara. This Megillah is not coming to us in a chidush, in a new idea about Tuma, contamination, not about purity. This Megillah is not telling us what's mutar, what's asu. <laughs> if that's the case, why is it written? What's the chidush of this Megillah? What's the point? The Lametcha, to teach you, Sikhar Shul Gomle Chesadim. The Megillah is there to teach you. The reward for those who are Gomer Hasadim, those who do good acts, good deeds, they care for other people, do for others. That, that root did for others became the mother of Moshe. Now he has she's going to have a child, that Shlomo Mele, Hashem. He sat down on the throne of Abba Shwarhu. Root was to that. That's the that's the Sikhar of Gomlech Hasadim, those who do good acts to other people. Now the question is, when you go through the Megillah, what sticks out from Ruth? Ruth was a princess. She was a daughter of a king. She left everything behind and came to, 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 came to his family, to judge them, his family. Now, one would think the greatest point to learn from this Megillah is Emuna, Bitaqwa, prince, princess that she could have been in a mansion, she could have a lot of maids. She has to act like a maid. She has to go and gather, in other words, she comes very poor. And she doesn't leave the Nomi, she comes with Nomi. I have to understand the depth of this Megillah is to point out how, how, how strong was her faith and be talking to her that made her to do that. But Chazal are telling us the, that emuna, that faith, and that trust that no root had, that's not the focal point of this Megillah. 
What's the focal point of this Megillah? Is to teach us when you do chesed and penis, you get reward. Now, why is it like that? What's the point? Chazor are teaching us that don't miscalculate. If you see that enormous, that strength in emuna and bitachon, the root is not emuna and bitachon. The root is the act of chesed. Once you could come out of your box to do chesed, to understand other people, to relate to other people, that's the gateway to get to emuna, bitachon, to everything else. Now, you might tell me that, you know, a lot of people do chesed in penis, but they don't get any place. No, what's chesed? What's kindness? There are two types of chesed and kindness. And so tell us, Iyub Batran be Iyub was a person that he was mebate. He gave up his money. No, he forgave his money to others. It was more. He wasn't so strict about his money. No, Chazal asked, why do we call Iyu Batra by By the way, you know the Iyu, we learn about Iyu, the Chazal that he did invited people in his house. My, 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 to help poor people. He helped a lot of poor people. Chazal that it was unbelievable. Iyu Chazal is famous in the Tanakh. No, Chazal tell us he was but from the Mamona wasn't so strict his money and he forgave his money to others when he had the argument with the Khenwani and Khatsi Peruta, he felt that he's giving Khatsi Peruta more. And the Khenwani said, No, you have to give me one Khatsi Peruta. And he gave up and he gave the money. Unbelievable. <laughs> he's using thousands of dollars and helping poor people making such a Sauda for those that they did it. Chazal don't tell us that he was what from the Mamuna. But it comes to Chatzit Peruta, that he had a debate with Khenroni, he gave up Chatzit Peruta. That made him to be called Ishches. What's the difference? Chatzit Peruta is nothing, contrast to thousands of dollars. There are two types of Chesed. One has the person does to magnify himself, really loves himself. He loves himself to see about to talk about him. He's the Gomel Chesed, he gives so much Sedova to magnify yourself, to love to do that. But there is another Chesed that you feel you deserve it. It's mine. And you have to give it up. In this argument, you feel this Chatsi Peruta I shouldn't give to you. It's mine. Why should I give it to you? But nevertheless, that you feel it's yours to give it up. And then you get the mochi. That mechila makes a different mark in a person. It's not just magnifying yourself, but giving up yourself. You are not considering what's the best for yourself, but you considering other person. You care for other people. This is the chesed that we are talking about. Root, in other words, this Megillah is written to teach us a lot of times, okay, you love to do something you do, but a lot of other times you had some right and you gave it up. The Tzerara comes, shows you deprivation. Why did you do that? I'm stupid. Why did you do that? You know, you let people, you know, do whatever they want to do. It became like a shemate. They get doormat. They could do whatever that you want to do. You have to stand up for yourself. You give thousands of dollars there. But Satan comes and tells you for half a dollar, for a dollar, stand up. That's your right. That's your thing. And Hazal tell us when you give up that, what you feel that really you are Magia to you, that's that, that is Megila about. This Megila is about. When a person really could give up his own right, he could give up his seized life in all of these things. This makes a connection to Havadosh Baruch Hu that this emunah becomes much greater, this bitachon becomes much greater when you could give up from yourself for others, 
That's a sign of you build up your emuna, you build up your bitachon. Emuna and bitachon is much greater. Right? This is what this Megillah is teaching us, not the Kiddush. Kiddush of this Megillah is, when you see the Megillah, don't be so amazed and excited about the moon and the top of the world. No. Be excited that the Lord is giving gap from herself and is doing for others. Princess, she's princess, she could have everything. She gives up for others. That from herself for others, that's the more. And that magnifies the moon of the top of the world. Things of the day, when you think about it, life is a malchut. Who's malchut? It's my malchut or malchut of Hashem. All, all things boils down to that. That's why the Midrash says, when you know, Abu says, Ani Hashem Rechecha, Hashem your God, Hashem says, first you accept my malchut, then I decree upon you. But if you don't accept my malchut, forget about God. Person say, why? Why forget about everything? Let's through Torah to get to Malchut. <laughs> through Torah, you don't get Malchut. Torah, you magnify yourself. You make a greater person out of yourself. First, you have to nullify yourself as a child. You accept the Malchut. Once you accept the Malchut, then other things come. If you don't accept the Malchut, then you use the Torah as a vessel to magnify yourself. That was what was not interesting. And giving you Torah, Torah should be something through that to submit yourself to. First, you accept my Malchut. The all of the Megillah root is teach us what's the reward of a Chesed, those who do the real Chesed, and all Torah is about. Torah Shavuot night is a night that we should use the night to come out of the box. In other words, to understand there is a Kodesh of Hashem, and relate to a Kodesh out of the box, like, like the Amoraim said, because, because of this day, a lot of people were in the shuk, the market. What does it mean a lot of people in the shuk and market? A lot of people in the shuk and market, the way that they live, they magnify themselves and themselves. There's nothing else except themselves. Here, Machila was Shvarhu, and all of the market of Shavuot is to be Evet Hashem. We are servant of Abu Shvarhu to do what he, to carry his love. I still have to